So today we're featuring a catnip, which is a 2005 Camano 31. Uh, these Camanos are just ideal for the Pacific Northwest. Uh, some of the uh, uh, features of the boat is uh, absolutely no wood on the outside, so very, very little maintenance on the outside. Uh, there is some wood and finishing on the inside, but uh, only enough just to make it kind of homey and comfortable. Another one of the features of this uh, vessel is the uh, relatively large cockpit for the uh, the size of the boat. There's room back here for a couple of chairs, maybe a small teak table. So when you're all finished uh, boating for the day and uh, you tie up in an anchorage, you've got a nice barbecue out here that uh, you can fire up and put the burgers on or the salmon if you caught one. And here we have just a great dinghy package. It's a walker bay. Um, looks like about a 10 foot, uh, complete with a 9.9 .9 Yamaha outboard and a CY's davit system. For those who know uh, CY's systems, they're absolutely great. Very easy to deploy and, and retrieve your dinghy with uh, no fuss, no muss. Now one of the nice things about this, uh, this Camano is the full walkthrough transom complete with transom door. And typical of all Camanos, they're just really ruggedly built. Look at that uh, powder aluminum door uh, to the salon. A very, very spacious interior. Remember we talked about those big trolley style windows. Just look how bright it is in here. and able to sit here in a very, very comfortable settee and look directly out at the water. Lots of ventilation in here. The aft window opens and of course the door. And also the two side windows open. A really good array of electronics including a color E80 uh, GPS chart plotter and radar. It has a tri-data for um, log uh, depth and speed through the water as well as an autopilot. And up here we have um, a matrix VHF radio complete with that distress signal. Now some of the other features of, uh, of this boat is uh, the uh, Xantrex uh, battery monitor, a NEMA plug-in for your laptop computer, here's one of the vents for the um, Wabasto cabin heat, that's a diesel fired furnace, it vents overboard so there's no smell. And over here, you'll see the thermostat. Just set the thermostat just like you would at home, and it fires up the furnace when it needs heat and turns it off when it doesn't. Now, the galley is down, but not so far down that you can't be part of uh, what's going on in the salon. And you can see it's uh, very well equipped and very bright with all of these windows right over the space. A three burner um, force 10 stove, uh, complete with oven, deep stainless steel sink, microwave, and even a coffee maker. Now here we have uh, uh, to the right, um, right up next to the port light, uh, we have uh, your dish storage. and a 12 volt fridge. Right over the sink we have an opening port light uh, for ventilation. And lots of storage below. Now the head features a vacuum flush toilet and a full uh, shower with a wraparound curtain as you can see here 
which wraps around this track and contains all the mess into one space. For those of you who don't know Commandos, this is a nice feature where in behind the mirror you have accessibility to the uh, back of the helm. Now your cabin is remarkably large. It's six foot four along the hull and six foot five across the front. In this space here that you're looking at now, uh, there's an insert that just fits into that. And if you choose, you can lay uh, across the front and would have six foot five room. Notice the two drawers down below and bulk storage under each of these mattresses on each side. For those times that you have guests, uh, this table breaks down into uh, a double bed and the inserts for that bed are um, uh, very handily uh, strapped to the uh, sides of the hull in the forward cabin up out of the way. Now many great things about Kamanos but uh, probably uh, one of the key features of this boat is the keel form hull. Notice how the hull is wide forward and as we go aft it narrows down that keel extends all the way out to the rudder post. The rudder post is connected to the keel with a stainless steel shoe and of course that protects you from any uh, floatsome or logs or whatever you, that you might run under, run over and um, keeps the propeller away from those logs. That's not a guaranteed prevention but um, people have run over logs and had the log pop up in the back with no damage to the prop whatsoever. One of the, another advantage of the keel form hull is that the engine sits very low. Notice how, how low it sits here. And what that provides you is a very low center of gravity. With that low center of gravity it resists trawler roll. And one of the other things that resists trawler roll as well is notice how the uh, at the uh, aft part of the hull, how it flattens out. Now that flat, flat part contributes to lift when you're going into um, uh, a semi-plane, but it also resists trawler roll. We've actually been in a, in a hard turn at 14 knots and had very, very uh, little heel, probably no more than 8 degrees. A third advantage of uh, the keel form hull is uh, notice how straight the shaft is uh, to the prop. So you're getting much more efficient fuel burn. The prop is driving the boat forward rather than trying to lift the boat out of the water. This is your fuel burn and in fact at uh, 14 knots you're burning 5.8 gallons per hour. If you were to travel at hull speed, which is about 7.9 knots, you'll burn 1.25 gallons an hour. It just sips at fuel. Now all of this is protected by a three-part insulation to the engine space. Uh, you have a reflective barrier on the outside, as you see, a heavier, more dense foam on the inside, an airspace, and then repeat it again. What all of this does is provide you with, uh, at 14, 14 knots, standing in this area right here, uh, we measured 68 dBA, which is about the, end, about the noise that you would get from uh, a luxury automobile traveling at 100 kilometers an hour. Very, very quiet. Now up in the bridge you have just a ton of space. Of course you've got uh, your three uh, chairs forward up next to the helm. Plenty of space underneath. Notice that he's got uh, a fridge, a separate fridge cooler uh, plugged into the uh, 12 volt DC that uh, he's got wired up here. But a great space to store other stuff as well. Of course, up uh, at your uh, upper helm, you have uh, your bow thruster control as well as your tri data. Lots of space to store uh, crab traps or fishing gear, 
or if you just wanted to lounge up here look at the space that you could put uh, two or three more chairs and maybe a couple of small teak tables up here as well and a great vantage point to sit and relax and enjoy just enjoy a glass of wine in an anchorage and look around at all the surrounding vistas here So there you have it guys, uh, a really good boat, a good value, um, the owner wants it sold, he's got a growing family, wants to move into something bigger, and there's Rob right down there, say hi Rob. Hey guys. This is the guy you want to talk to, pick up the phone, give him a call, and make an appointment to come down and see uh, Catnip. Uh, you'll be glad you did. Cheers for now.